Hello, welcome to the Kitchen Spy. My name is Kate and this is a shopping haul. Again, this week I've been to Aldi and Tesco. Uh, I can't just shop in Aldi because um, I can't get everything I need in terms of gluten free and there are also some brands that I'm kind of wedded to. So I go over to Tesco, but they're both in the same town and not very far from each other. Um, so in Tesco this week, I spent only 16 pounds and four pence. And in Aldi, I spent 71 pounds and 64, which came to 87 pounds and 68 pence. And this will see us right through the week, including lunches, um, and there'll be some stuff frozen as well. Um, so not too bad. I'm quite pleased with that. Eighty-seven pounds and sixty-eight pence for our weekly shop for two people and one dog. So here's what I bought. I think there's quite a lot, really. Um, like quite a lot of meat and lots of fresh veg. So let's have a look at that. So um, I, I'm on my own for my dinner this evening. So I've got myself a steak. Uh, my husband doesn't really like steak very much. So when he's not here, I take advantage and I get myself a steak. So I'm looking forward to eating that. And I'll serve it with some vegetables and garlic butter and things. Then I'm intending on making a... Uh, uh, beef casserole um, in the week and so I'm going to be using this roasting joint. Now I like to, uh, rather than buy the pre-chunked meat, I like to chop it myself and that way you get a good size of uh, chunk so you know what you're getting. I like a bigger a bigger chunk in, in casseroles and so that's why I've got that. Then I've got a roasting chicken and that will be for Sunday lunch and also for Monday evening meal as well. And I've got three packs of two uh, chicken breast fillets. Two will be for some oven baked meal, which I'll probably serve with some chips and salad. And two packs will be going into a chicken and mushroom curry that I'm doing this week. Um, then we've got some olives. These look quite nice. I like anything with um, a bit of flavour on it. So um, hopefully they'll be nice. Um, and then what we've got here is some yogurts. Those yogurts are really lovely, actually. So I've got some halloumi and I'm going to be doing cauliflower toasts again this week. And I'm hoping to film it. I didn't get a chance last week. Now, in the Super 6 section um, in Aldi this week, the root vegetable pack uh, was on offer. And in fact, that's what gave me the idea of doing the beef casserole I think it, this was only 59p and there's um, a couple of onions there's um, a swede some carrots a parsnip oh, and another onion down the bottom um, so I think that's really good value um, so I'll be making a casserole then some sandwich meat so this honey roast ham and also a repeat purchase here which is this salt beef this is really nice so we've uh, we've got that again then I've got my cauliflower for my cauliflower toast again I had to get that from Tesco because the ones in Aldi just weren't very nice some green beans which I'll have with my steak tonight and also will be on Sunday lunch and various other things there's some courgettes which will go into the roasted vegetables for the cauliflower toast and some plums so I eat a lot of plums so I bought these ones but I also saw these they they were quite expensive actually these ones I think they were like over a pound for four but they just look nice so I thought I'd give them a whirl and then I got some uh, easy peelers uh, these are quite large ones um, I like uh, easy peelers because they're easy to peel um, and some oranges I'm really enjoying taking oranges to work at the moment then I've got some potatoes and this one has got an absolutely massive potato in it but never mind I'll be chopping them up it doesn't matter and then uh, the ubiquitous lemons which I have every week in my shop and I've bought some more of this apple and blackcurrant squash because I really I'm really enjoying this actually I'm normally a fan of orange and mango but I bought this a couple of weeks ago and we're getting through it at a rate of knots then uh, some blueberries, um, those will go on to cereals and also maybe in yogurt and some coriander and um, that will be in for some salsa for the chicken curry um, and I can see here that I actually missed showing you the sprouts, um, mushrooms as well and also some broccoli, that will be for Sunday lunch as well but the sprouts which I missed and uh, I just took it behind the broccoli. Then we've got some peppers and some asparagus and again uh, the asparagus some of that will be for my steak tonight and some of it will actually be for the cauliflower toasts. Some chilies because we eat 
so many chilies in this house and that will also go in the salsa um, as will the tomatoes um, so they'll be used for a number of meals throughout the week and there's some baby button mushrooms some bonios for Jess and our normal lacto-free skimmed milk then our normal ping rice so I've got three packs of that and then I saw this in the middle aisles and it was on offer and I think it was 79p now it sounds nice and the tilde rices are normally well over a pound I think they might even be over one pound fifty so getting that for 79p was I think quite a bargain and then of course um, shopping just wouldn't be shopping without Tunnock's tea cake so two packs of those I keep mine in the fridge I like it that way um, and then some Pinot Noir I think I've shown you this before but it's a really really lovely wine and it's only 4 .99. I'm not a wine snob at all but um, these are really nice so there's a, a Pinot Grigio well this says Pinot Gris but I imagine it's the same thing um, and then uh, I got some lentil curls from Tesco now I prefer the Aldi ones but my husband prefers the lentil curls from Tesco so I bought a pack of lentil curls from Tesco for him and I bought a pack of lentil curls from Aldi for me so we're going to build both be happy with those snacks and um, space raiders here they are again I just love them they're just so gorgeous um, and I really enjoy eating them every single day uh, pretty much um, right so we've got some blue cloths here I use quite a lot of these um, I prefer them to having a kind of dish cloth um, and then what I've got here is my Mary Berry dressing. Now I use this a lot. I don't like mayonnaise, but I do like salad cream. I think that's probably just from when I was a kid, we didn't really have mayonnaise in the house. My parents were very much salad cream people. So this tastes a little bit like that and I like it. Then some cumin because I'd run out and some Yorkshire tea decaffeinated tea bags. I drink caffeinated tea, but my husband likes decaf, so we get that and our usual three packs of gluten-free pancakes some rice cakes and some of these Tesco um, chocolate and salted caramel rice cakes they're actually really tasty so if you see them give them a go I think they're 83 calories each um, I've forgotten to show you the foil which is there but I got that from Aldi and I bought these this week because they look nice and in fact subsequently to this I've had two of them and they were really nice really really nice some gluten-free bread for my husband and some Schweppes tonic for gin obviously or, or vodka or whatever you want it for um, and uh, some poppadoms for when I do the curry and then we've got the radio times this week um, and so there you are um, that's as I say 87 pounds and seven sorry 68 pence for the entire weekly shop which I think is pretty good now if um, you're leaving at this point thanks very much for watching but what I have done is tagged on to the end of this video a little bit about the weekend we had when we went away to the Gower Peninsula which is at the uh, bottom of Wales um, we stayed in this lovely cottage called uh, Bower Cottage. Um, it's at Port Ironham which is right on the coast and there's me and Jess on the beach and clearly I need to walk on uh, work on my elegant walk but <laughs> because clearly that isn't. Um, there was a pub right next door to us and thank goodness there was because uh, it, it was right in the middle of Storm Dennis so the weather was just absolutely disgustingly appalling. So basically we nipped out when we could but mainly we spent our time in the pub eating pub food and um, then at home um, so this was um, my husband's meal on the first night which is sea trout this was my meal which was a steak and the steak was delicious it was uh, char grilled um, but it had got as you can see there a really sad <laughs> little salad with it um, and the skinny fries were nice although to get the skinny fries I had to pay an extra pound strangely but anyway there you are and there is the onion rings and we also had dessert um, so this was mine which was white chocolate and blueberry cheesecake with ice cream and my husband had this which was a gluten-free dessert so it was a creme brulee two types of gelato and a chocolate brownie uh, which he said was nice 
And then because we were on holiday in inverted commas, um, in the evening we had these um, um, gluten-free chicken nuggets. And so um, over the weekend it was a kind of um, hunker down in front of the fire thing whilst watching uh, my favourite YouTuber, that's uh, What's For Tea. So it was lovely. Um, and then on Sunday lunch, we went back to the pub. We spent a lot of time in the pub. Uh, a couple of glasses of wine and we reserved our table. And of course, here's Jess. She settles down really nicely when we're out, actually. She's very good and doesn't beg. And this was the Sunday lunch and I had beef and it was absolutely delicious. All those lovely veggies. Um, my husband uh, had his separate gravy, as you can see there, because he has to eat a gluten-free diet. And then this is my pudding. Oh my goodness, this was really lovely. Um, this was panettone bread and butter pudding and I had it with cream. It was warm and it tasted custardy. It was just delicious. I can't show you his because he tucked in before I even started. <laughs> So um, here's the sea near to uh, where we were. I mean, we were right on the coast and the Gower Peninsula is such a, be a beautiful place. If you are ever in Wales and you want to have a look at somewhere beautiful, then the Gower Peninsula is somewhere to go. So yeah, it was uh, a wild old day, but it was very nice. And then when we got home, and this is kind of very near to where we live, like 10 minutes away from where we live, we live in rural mid Wales. Um, so as you can see, Wales is very beautiful wherever you are in it. Um, so this is us just taking Jess for a little bit of a, a walk. So um, I hope you enjoyed having a little bit of a glimpse into our weekend away. I just thought it was something a little different from um, here's a bag of lentil curls because <laughs> I appreciate I tend to uh, buy the same things every week. Well, not all the time, but there's a lot of repetition. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you've liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. If you haven't subscribed yet and you feel like you might like to, then please click the subscriber button. It would be great to have you on board and it really helps. I record two videos a week at the moment and they are published on Wednesdays and Sundays um, so I really hope you'll consider that and if you do don't forget to click the notification button. Thanks everyone for watching if you've made it to this point. As always great to see you. Take care. Bye bye.